Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you join me on Dragon Trail for Race C this week. Don't often do Race C, but Dragon Trail does mean we have that chicane. But before that, we have to make it through the first corner. And oh dear, this is going to be a sign of things to come. I'm going to sideswipe that guy, but fortunately he stayed in front of me and everyone is where they started. So that's all good. Now, coming to the chicane now, we have got the ominous sound, the sound that's most profound. The sound that is the chicane coming up and uh, we have to make it through this thing 10 times in this race we've made it through once we did hit the outside wall but at least it wasn't the inside wall because that would have just yeah that would have been doomed so as we come into this slow corner here the guy behind is uh, he's gonna have a better run than me uh, but we're gonna manage to stay in front and we do have a right hander coming up so I'm in a good position right now to at least hold 6th place for now. But I have got another guy on the other side there. So we are in danger of losing 2 places here if we mess up. Uh, and then coming through these S's where I'm normally pretty confident. I'm, I'm going to turn in entirely too early. And lose a lot of speed as a result. And the other guy is going to get right alongside and in front. And take 5th place from me. Now he is an S rated driver. I think it's the first time I've ever raced against an S rated driver. Uh, so he must have just done like a couple laps to set his qualifying time. Because he qualified behind me. Whereas I've done a whole stack of laps to get a time. So this guy on the inside of me. He is uh, going to get in front. And I'm down into 7th place. And uh, that Peugeot is pretty decent in this race. Uh, at least behind there are a couple guys, but they have got penalties, so we're going to have a bit of a buffer, uh, and at least we can try and just sort my stuff out here and just start driving properly, because I seem to have forgotten how to play this game. Every time I do a race C, I just forget how to play the game. So, normally I do race A and B, which is usually shorter races with no uh, fuel and tire wear, which means the driving in the race is pretty much the same as it is in qualifying. Whereas now I've got to consider tire wear and the weight of the fuel. So it's a very different experience and coming through the chicane for the second time, we're going to make it through there without incident, albeit very, very slowly as a guy hits a wall in front and still manages to pull in front. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need to do more practice in race C. It just feels like so much more of an occasion and I tend to make mistakes probably as a result of overthinking things. Um, but generally the race C's, recently at least, have been tracks and cars I'm not too keen on. So, yeah, I haven't been doing them. But this one I thought it was okay. Unfortunately, it is front-wheel drive that dominates, as is the, the uh, common situation now with Group 4. It's just, the front-wheel drive cars are so overpowered. Uh, as this guy in front loses a lot of time through that S's section. Uh, but yeah, the front wheel drive car is so overpowered and you would think here with fuel or I mean, tire wear on, front wheel drive surely they're going to wear through their tires so much that they're going to have to pit because the pit's not mandatory but if your tires are ruined you might need to pit. But that's not the case. You can get through this race completely fine without uh, getting much tire wear at all. So it is just another front wheel drive uh, you know, domination here. And to make matters worse, race A is also group 4, but you're forced to use a front wheel drive car, so it's like, do we have any opportunity to use some of the other cars which might be a little bit more fun to drive, and certainly sound a lot better as we go on the inside of that Peugeot. Um, now both of us in the chat earlier were very, very worried about the chicane, and I did remark that no one should try and go too wide through the chicane, as... Uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure we don't go too wide through the chicane. I didn't have the speed for it anyway. Uh, but look how much time I'm losing there. I'm just so cautious and, you know, scarred by the memory of previous races here where I've clattered into that tire wall just about every single time, or at least once a race, uh, that I'm just so scared now <laughs> and I lose so much time there. We'll see later on just how much time I do lose. But now we're in danger of losing 7th place here. So we're going to have to... You know, pull my finger out, do some driving here, and uh, hopefully we can get into the groove of things. I am starting to feel a bit better. I uh, always have a very, very nervous start here. I need to get over those, especially in race C's. Um, but we're starting to get there. We had a good middle sector there. 
and uh, we're going to jump ahead to the start of the next lap or the end of this lap and the Peugeot is coming to get alongside me uh, but I will have the inside for the next corner so hopefully we can stay there but behind I'm going to be helped out and he's going to get punted off unfortunately uh, by another Audi as the Audi is now behind me a very aggressive driver I must say and uh, yeah now he's behind me as we go into braking zones so that could be me who gets punted off at some stage I'm hoping not uh, but we need to get through here again I'll just navigate that before that was actually not too bad just nowhere near as fast as the guy behind just look how much speed he's got over me and that was almost a jump scare as he hit me from behind I wasn't expecting that my guess is that he wasn't wanting to get past through this corner because then his run up here wouldn't be very good so he's probably just biding his time waiting for the opportunity to get past and if he knew me better he would know I'm probably going to make a mistake at some point so yeah coming through the S's again probably where I feel most confident on this track uh, my sector time and qualifying is about the same as uh, the uh, top times not on this occasion uh, I tend to take it a bit differently to most most people break through the last corner I break through the second to last corner or the second corner and uh, yeah it seems to give me a better run up the hill so he's gotten past there as I you know ran into into the sand there and lost a lot of time so we're down into eighth place unfortunately and uh, through the S or through this final chicane here I'm gonna be a little bit held up uh, so I'm not gonna have a great run through the straights so we are going to jump ahead a little bit to after the chicane now and I'm gonna get bumped wide there he's using a, a literal push to pass there uh, but yeah I'm not too happy about that so we're gonna jump to the final lap now I'm still in ninth place but the guys in front have now got their own little uh, battle going on so they're slowing down a little bit might be able to make up a place before the end of the race probably not though you know not on pace anyway uh, but we do have that guy who pushed me wide crashing into the wall there so we're gonna get past him up into eighth place and uh, that is where we're gonna finish the race so I'm really feeling knackered there I need some confidence and some motivation hello viewers intro clap intro clap so thank you super gt for streaming in my time of need uh, while he was doing this race uh, on a stream i decided yeah i'm just gonna do it uh, i've watched enough hermit craft videos so i'm gonna go and uh, do some uh, race c hopefully get some confidence back i mean that's the only way it's gonna you're gonna get the confidence is if you just do it and do it and do it until it gets better so yeah we are starting on pole here we were actually meant to be second, but the guy who was on first uh, disconnected or quit out. So now we've got Ram Darkness behind, not Ram Shadow, uh, which I thought was actually a pretty creative demo <laughs> tag. So as we go into this braking zone here, it's already been a much better start than the previous race. And uh, we're actually going to get that corner pretty well, so it's a good start. I'm pretty happy right now, feeling a lot more confident. I did have a tiny bit of practice before this, maybe 10 minutes or so so i kind of knew what i needed to work on from the first race and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to do that the whole race so going through the s's here again like the first lap in the previous race i uh, turned in a bit too early but it's not too bad uh, if anything i might have gained a tiny bit and now going into this braking zone here to start the third sector uh, it's not going to be too bad in fact so the first lap not too bad the final chicane here I'm not too worried about so I generally do it all right uh, but the guy in f or the guy behind is actually on a real charge right now so he seems to be pretty good at this final sector and I'm not going to have the greatest exit even though I wasn't too worried about the corner um, he's going to have a much better one so it's going to get very very close behind so we're now going to have a bit of a drag race up to the first uh, corner so he's going to be in my slipstream going to get very very close behind pull alongside and it does mean I do have the inside for the corner, so I might be okay. Should be able to defend it a bit. He's going to take a very wide line, try to get a better run than I am. Um, but I'm actually going to manage to come out in front. So coming up to the Chicane of Doom for the second time in this race, we've done it 12 times in total in races without hitting it, if we can get through this. So I'll be very, very happy with that. Uh, still taking it pretty slowly. That was actually one of the better times I took it. Um, I don't know if he backed off, you know, just because it's very hard to follow someone through there. 
uh, but I did manage to pull out in front. He's going to be a bit late on the brakes there, push me a bit, um, and then uh, he's going to, well, I'm going to try re regain, but he's going to stay behind me and he's going to put his hazards on to say sorry. I'm going to put my hazards on to uh, say it's okay, don't worry about that. But look at this noob, he's going to leave his left indicator on, which I didn't realize uh, until editing this video. I've left my <laughs> left indicator on the entire race. Shows how often you actually look down there, so yeah, a bit of a noob move, I suppose. But we are still in first place, and I think I might have gotten a little bit sort of um, complacent actually. So, as we get past there, I probably should have defended a bit earlier so he couldn't take the inside line because the outside's really not where you want to go. And then through the final chicane here, not going to have the greatest of runs, and then behind we've got another Audi who's on a bit of a charge, so. Yeah, this race is hotting up. It's actually quite a lot of fun. I am enjoying it at the moment. Uh, but I don't really want to carry on making too many mistakes as we have a decent run here. We're going to have a dive up the inside. Get a little bit late on the brakes. I should have broken a little bit earlier. Uh, and we are going to lose second place as a result of that. So we're now coming to the chicane of doom. And yeah, we have got all the work to do to make up some places so going through here hopefully we can make it through clean uh, that was quite weird actually he clattered into the tire wall but um, yeah on my screen it looked like he just glitched uh, but he did actually clatter the tire wall so jumping ahead we have had a mistake up, a, up in front so we're going to close up quite a bit of a gap there and now as we have a couple laps to go if we can just drive nicely, we should be able to put in a bit of a fight here. He might be struggling with tires. Uh, I am also struggling with tires. But now you're going to see where I really struggle and how much I actually lose through here. It's very hard to follow someone through here. I wasn't too sure where to break and I broke way too hard. And look at that, I've lost, by the end of this, I've lost like a full second at least. So unfortunately, we're going to end in second place, but a far better result than the first race. So yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much to my patrons that you're seeing on screen and a very nice warm welcome to JSR John who's decided to pledge to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.